Okay, some good news. Just hearing from Bert Dandy, our cameraman who is down at Keel Station. Sorry, sorry guys, I just didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, the TTC uh, subways are about to go back into service out in the West End. So I just thought that was really important to, to get across. So thanks, Kat. Opa. Okay, pass okay. off the baton or the baguette to us. We have got Chris Calisperas, the executive chef of the Danforth's latest restaurant. It's called The Fourth. May the fourth be with you. That's yeah. how it's spelled. <laughs> Forget the U. And we're celebrating Taste of the, the Danforth this weekend. So you being Greek decided to create a yeah, Sunday since, Greek dinner feast. And since we're on the Danforth, we'll, we'll go along with the theme. But your restaurant is not strictly Greek. Cuisine. No, we're not Greek cuisine. Um, we're contemporary Canadian with a few Mediterranean influences. Infused. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about what a traditional right, feast so would be. We'll, we'll walk by, you know, sometimes, you know, what you might be able to find in a Sunday Sunday dinner at a, at a Greek household. So you always start off with bread. Pita. We you have pita and you have a baguette. Nice. Um, you have tzatziki. Tzatziki is basically yogurt, garlic. Yogurt, garlic, uh, cucumber, dill. Very nice. Um, you got your marinated olives. Got a village salad with feta, uh, feta, tomatoes, onions. This has fresh oregano, parsley, peppers. olives, and peppers. Mm, it's so fresh. Um, you got some grilled vegetables here. What's the trick to perfectly grilling these sorts of veg? I noticed you Don't did them thicker. Them. How? Yeah, cut them thicker. Don't overcook them. Um, I have a few on the grill, as you see right over there. Do you pre-oil or butter or anything? Um, just a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. How many how many minutes you don't, each side? A couple minutes, and then you just put in a bowl. And you can wrap it in saran wrap for a minute okay. and let it just finish cooking with its own heat. Oh, smart. And, and that actually works so out the best. So two minutes one side, two minutes, two minutes another side, side, salt, pepper, oil, saran wrap, and let it cook within its own steam. Yep. Um, you've got some beautiful potatoes roasted. Yeah, these roasted. are roasted fingerling potatoes. What did you use as your dip, your sauce? That's, that's mustard for the lamb. We're going to oh, get to the lamb you. a little bit later Okay. because we're going to finish the lamb and put it here. Here we have a whole roasted chicken. For those, there's always uh, some of those at the household who don't always eat lamb. So your next best thing, give them chicken. Chicken. Because everybody eats chicken. By the way, these, I can't even tell you how good um, they are right now in season. Figs are really big in, uh, in Greek culture. They're delicious. May I steal yeah, this? Go ahead. Thanks, Chef. Um, so let's come over to the barbecue and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk a bit about the lamb. So I have one that's already on. As you see, I so have what, one here. Uh, what cut is this if you're getting uh, this, it at the butcher? This is the rack of lamb. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're gonna grill it, it might take about 35, 40 minutes. It'll come up to like a medium rare. Keep it low and slow, because you don't want it too high, because the lamb's got a lot of fat, so it'll really flame up. So do you take it off the direct heat when you're cooking it? Um, it's right, right at the bottom, yeah. It's not really near any high flames, because you really don't want to cause a huge, uh, you know, the carbon and you char, it, char it. yeah, you don't want to char, you want to let it cook slowly. What did you use? I noticed some green flecks on there. What sort of uh, herbs? Uh, there's rosemary, thyme, lemon thyme, and just some garlic. Okay. Just That's pretty simple. simple. Salt and pepper, you know, just keep it simple. Don't don't overdo it. Here's some uh, grilled spring onion, which is always nice. Uh, well, what do you do with those them. after? Just grill them. And you can eat them the way they are. Just, throw Just some, like that? Throw some olive oil on them and they're fine. Look, you even keep the little uh, the yeah, roots keep, on the ends? Yeah, you keep the roots on the ends. Roughage is good for you. So we have this one that's been cooking for a while, so let's okay. bring it over here. So how many minutes per side? Well, you have to turn it every four or five minutes. You don't want to leave it on one side too long. Okay. So turn it every four or five minutes. How it's many a, flips? Well, 25 minutes, well, five flips. Do the math for me, <laughs> <laughs> Five flips, four to five minutes each flip. Okay, so it's too early in the morning. Yeah, it is. Okay. okay, so let's cut into this. You want to be careful when you cut into the lamb. You don't want to cut into the bone. How do you uh, make sure you don't do that? Just keep an eye, separate the bones. And I notice it's still quite uh, red on the inside. Is yeah, that how you want it to look? Yeah, that's how I want it. Some people prefer it. I prefer my lamb medium rare. Some people like it medium. Put it another four or five minutes, minutes on one side yeah, if it. you want a little, okay. If you want it well done, let it go until it becomes like a rock. Now, is this one of those things you should let it sit? You want to let it sit. You want to let it rest for about five minutes, usually before you cut it. But we, we've had ours on for the grill cooking for a while. It was already resting. And that is because bit. you want all the juices to, to stay, stay inside. inside. See? That's, this is what uh, we learned. Yeah, you, so you've, also, you've done this before. <laughs> I just watch a lot of cooking shows, to be honest. And I have a lot of chefs on this show. And then you grill the pita. And I noticed the onion. You also just did yeah. it so easily. You just, slap just, it in half, cut just it. Just cut it in half and let it cook down. Let the onion char. It brings out a nice flavor a to nice it. A nice sweetness. And you guys are doing very well. Congratulations Thank on the opening much. and success. That's a gorgeous presentation. This is the beauty of family style. No fuss, yeah, no muss. Yeah, just simple, rustic. 
You know, you don't have to worry about presentation. Some wine. Grab a glass of red to go with the... Talking my language. For more information, go check Cheers. it out. It's called The Fourth, yep. the latest restaurant. And teach me something in, to say this weekend as part of the uh, Taste of the Dan Fourth. Yamas. Yamas. That means let's go. <laughs> uh, yamas. I just made it sound Jamaican. Yamas. <laughs> we'll be back with more BT right after this. Mm, this is Busy Canton. On the next city lot, refreshingly easy.